Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you all for showing up today. My name is uh, Nicholas Anderson, and I'm the guest creator of this exhibit. I'm a first-year master's student at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, and I study U.S. military history in the 19th and 20th century and how it influences cultures. <clears throat> my research hopes to explore the impact of the U.S. military on U.S. and foreign cultures. This exhibit represents my first attempt at exploring the relevance of the American military to communities within the U.S., and Hull is an excellent example due to its extended history of community service in the U.S. military. I wanted to, wanted to deliver an exhibit that helps to establish and publicize these histories, but I also had another goal. This exhibit also serves as an attempt to answer questions that I've wrestled with for a pretty good time now. Um, what does service mean to the U.S. public? What does it really mean? And how can I help communities reconnect with former and current members of the armed forces? In my research, I have found that service is often misinterpreted or ignored, and I wanted to understand why this occurs and try to halt that behavior. I cannot say that I have a concrete definition of service or its impact in Holyoke, but through this exhibit, I hope to, to show that military participation can take many forms and is not restricted to the monolithic definitions of military service that were created years ago. I hope to provide individuals with a more holistic understanding of what it means to serve in this country. I also hope to display that uniforms well, that individuals I'm sorry, are interested in cultivating a better understanding of what it means to serve and hopefully opening a fruitful dialogue within Holyoke. This exhibit is both a place of learning but also remembering. I hope that the Holyoke community can visit and cultivate a better understanding of its history and its community members, but I also hope that veterans can visit and enjoy a space that allows them to reconnect with their service as they see fit. I'd also take a moment to, to thank Penny Martorell uh, for giving the opportunity to work on this exhibit, Jesus Ferreira for his support in gathering uniforms and accommodating my incessant requests, uh, <laughs> the UMass History Department, my friends and family, and of course the director of the Viserio Museum, Megan Saylor. <laughs> <laughs>